Hi, my name is John Widener, and I am the requester for User Bob Hits. Uh, in this video, I'm going to try to show you how to do the training hit that will end up qualifying you to do all of the other User Bob Hits. And first things first, just relax. I never reject anybody for doing the training hit. So no matter how bad you do, you're not going to get rejected. And um, probably 95% or more of the people that do the training hit get you know qualified to do um, the rest of the hits. So it's really not that hard. Uh, this first table just kind of shows uh, the pay that I typically pay for different length of videos on the different platforms. And everybody seems to really like these hits. You can see the Turk Opticon ratings right there. Um, what you're doing in UserBob Hit is recording your screen as you use a certain website or an app and talking out loud about what you think about that particular website or app. Um, the purpose of them is for the people that develop those uh, products to get a better idea of what real people think of their products so that they can find ways to make it even better. So if you don't already have a program to record your screen, there's a link right here for the MediaCore uh, extension for Chrome. And this is a free extension. And to install it, you just click this blue Add to Chrome button and say Add Extension. It's checking, and now it's installed. You'll see this little chrome looking icon on the top right of your browser now. And so that's letting you know that it's been installed. And that's where you click to start and stop your recordings. So we can go ahead and close that window now. Continuing on with the hit. Um, norm first time for this training hit, you'll want to enter your demographic information. Um, by filling this out, um, every time you do a user Bob hit, you'll get an extra five cent bonus. So you only have to fill it out once, and we remember that information. And then we, for you being nice enough to share that information about yourself with others, uh, we give you a five cent bonus on on every hit. So fill that out, uh, check the boxes at the bottom, and click save, and then you can close that window. And then this is the link that you'll use to get started with the main part of the hit. So we will click that. And this big user Bob logo shows up. And the first thing it says is to start recording this tab. So we have that program installed. We can click up there. First time it kind of gives you their little about page and take it started. And now we're ready. So we are recording our desktop. Video size of 720p should be fine. You do not want to embed your webcam. Okay, leave that off, not checked. And in the meter, you should be seeing that it's green. If it's getting real loud where you're seeing red at the top, it's, or even you know the yellow and orange, it's gonna let you know that that's gonna be a little bit distorted. So make sure it's just showing green. Um, so it really looks like I could turn this down just a tad because I was seeing some yellow and red. That looks better. Um, so I'll click Start Recording. And you can record either your whole screen or just your browser's tab. There'll be some hits where you're asked to record your whole screen. In this one, I'm just going to say um, just the, the current tab there. And we will share. We get this little notification down here that we can hide. But now we can click on this, OK, I'm recording this tab button. First thing you're going to do is actually read this text in this top box out loud. Think back to when you were in high school. Pretend a teacher told you that this website could help you improve your grades. And then this next box, you can just kind of skim briefly over what it is that you're supposed to do. They'll, these instructions will be shown on another window here in just a second. But just to give you an idea of what you're doing, uh, skim over that and then click on the next button. 
and you saw this window off to the side open. I think in, in Windows it'll stay on top, but on the Mac it kind of goes to the back. So you need to resize your browser window um, so that you can see it. If you have two monitors, that's great. You can just drag that one window to the other monitor. But this is your timer showing you how long you've been recording. This is supposed to be a minute. Um, hit that we're doing now. It's it's always fine if you go over, but please always try to do at least uh, the time suggested. And these are those same instructions that we saw a second ago. So the first thing for this one says explore the site, talk out loud what you're thinking. So I would just be you know saying, oh, this is pretty. I like this. I don't like that. Um, I don't get what I'm supposed to do here. You know, you just talk about whatever. Um, and then w after you've recorded it enough, you'll hear that little ding and the timer will, will go to red. And that lets you know that you've recorded enough for this video. Um, if you haven't finished all of the tasks, um, you know, try, try to finish them if you can. But if you can tell that it's just there was way too much uh, things for you to do that you weren't able to complete it, it's okay to just say, you know, you didn't give me enough time to finish those tasks. If you spend more than a minute over what they asked for, um, some soft music will fade in to let you know that you need to wrap it up. But when we're when you're done and you're ready to stop recording, um, the icon now looks like this red target. So I'll click on that and click on stop. So it's finished. Here is the video that. Uh, we've recorded and this this box over here since I haven't saved it right away it's going to start playing that music um, and you can click on that icon there to stop it if, if it's annoying you but we need that window back that shows okay there's there's the file that we recorded and what we want to do is we need to download that to our computer so that we can upload it to the user Bob site. So we will click download and it will save it here to your computer. It's actually in your, your downloads folder. And what we need to do is we can either drag that file over to here or we can use the choose file. Um, dragging and just drop it over there and there it is. And now we can click on upload or the other way to do it would have been to click on choose file, go to your downloads folder. The one I just did, if you have them sorted by date, would be at the top. But always kind of check the time to make sure, okay, yeah, that's the one we just did. And so the file is there. We're now ready to upload it to the user Bob servers. It's gonna count. And then when it's all done, it should give you a completion code. There's our code. You can copy that and go back to the user Bob hit. And at the bottom of the hit is a place where you can paste the completion code. And if you had any comments that you want me, the requester, to see, um, you can just type them here and I will respond um, if you had any questions or if you, you know, saw something that you just felt I needed to know, you can fill that in. And that's pretty much all you need to do. And then you can submit the hit. Thank you for trying it out.